Here we are going to illustrate how to add some simple roof objects in Revit. We'll start by creating a flat roof. The first consideration is the level at which our roof will have its base. We can do that by navigating to the level, which will be defined as the base. Let's choose the Roof by Footprint tool. We can decide any number of drawing tools. The most useful ones generally for roofs are either Pick Supports or Pick Lines. Let's pick supports. Be sure to unclick Define Slopes since we want all these lines not to be slope defining. And go ahead and pick these walls which define our roof edges. Once other lines are picked we can clean up the sketch to leave only a closed loop. Using the Trim tool, whose shortcut is TR, we can close gaps and trim excess to leave clean corners. Let's correct this base offset to be zero so it starts immediately from the workspace level. Now let's try doing the same except to make a sloped roof. We will place a partial roof over this north wing of the building. We've already set this example up with model lines at the precise locations of the roof boundaries to make it very easy. We'll leave the slope defined property checked for the three boundary lines here that coincide with the building's exterior walls. Let's use the pick lines tool and follow these lines. I can shorten these lines by selecting them very much in the same way I can a wall or other linear objects. I can line up the two so that they have the same length as indicated by this dotted line. And now with the draw line mode I can connect these two points. Let's go in and define the slope. By selecting the line and hovering near the triangle I can select what now says 9 over 12 inches and change it to 3 inches over 12 inches. However for this last boundary edge which is not corresponding to an exterior wall, let's uncheck slope defining since this part of the roof won't slope down. Let's check the 3D view for our results. Notice these walls that tower above the roof. Thanks to the parametric nature of Revit, we can ask these walls to attach to the base of the roof using the Attach Top Base tool. We've done this not so much because this type of partial roof is typically modeled, but rather to demonstrate how we can control which edges are slope defining and which are not. And there we have a peaked or sloped roof which has one non-slope defining edge.